Hi there, I'm meteorologist Chicago Windler. Hope you are enjoying the weekend. What a cold start we had this morning. It was even record tying out at the airport. But we have a warming trend in place and our next cold front doesn't arrive until Thursday. So you've got a few days to go and enjoy. Today's weather number because of the freeze this morning, it is 11. At Camp Nabry, we dropped to 30 degrees. So that brings us to 11 freezes so far this season. Average is 12 and the record is 57 back in 1899. That was one rough winter. Record low tide out at the airport, 23 degrees. The old record is from 1963. Lots of spots fell into the teens in the hill country as well. But I'm pleased to say this is the coldest night of the week and everything's looking pretty nice from here on out. Sunshine in place for the rest of your afternoon. High temperature up to 66 degrees. The average is right around 65, 66 this time of year. So feeling pretty nice. What is ahead? Valentine's Day looking lovely and warmer. Tuesday night, we're gonna see the muggy air arrive. And that's one of the ingredients that will set the stage for potential showers and thunderstorms Wednesday night. So during the day on Wednesday, Fog, clouds, warm, some showers or drizzle Wednesday night into Thursday morning. I'm hoisting a weather alert for storms. Some could potentially be on the strongest severe thunderstorm side, especially north and east. For now, nothing of the sort. High pressure and control, beautiful sunshine. Our next weather maker, you gotta go all the way to Alaska to find it. And that system is going to make its way slowly but surely all the way into Texas. You can track it on our CBS Austin Storm Tracker weather app. Also get your hour by hour forecast. And once the storms arrive, you can use our interactive radar to track those storms Wednesday night. No storms in this forecast for the short term. Hour by hour through the rest of the evening, 7 o'clock down to 58 degrees, 11 o'clock 46. By morning, 38, not as cold, but still kind of a chilly start for kids at the bus stop and everyone heading back to work. 30 degrees in Lano for your low, 32 in Fredericksburg, right around 33 in Mason. Everyone else generally mid to upper 30s out the door for your Valentine's Day morning. And speaking of Valentine's, oh, it's looking lovely. 9 a.m. temperature already up to 47, brilliant sunshine, 4 o'clock right around 72 degrees. Afternoon high temperature, 72 is going to be about 6 degrees above average for this time of year. All right, let's go hour by hour. We'll have a slight southwesterly breeze, which will keep things a little milder for your Monday morning. Likewise, into lunchtime where everyone should be in the low to middle 60s. Afternoon high, 72 in Austin, 70 degrees in Lano, 69 degrees for those of you in LaGrange. Then overnight Monday into Tuesday, may see some patchy cloud cover try to develop, especially east toward Highway 77. I'm going to call it a mostly sunny Tuesday and warm as well. Temperatures could top out in the low to mid 70s. I actually upped the high to 75 degrees for your Tuesday. Wednesday also looking very warm ahead of our next cold front, which is going to be early Thursday. Behind it, temperatures do cool down. We may see highs only in the 50s by Friday. All right, I talked about it earlier, the potential for possible strong to severe thunderstorms. That's why that weather alert is hoisted for Wednesday night. Right now, the Storm Prediction Center has us in a 15% chance of severe thunderstorms, especially north of Austin points north and east through DFW and on into Arkansas. At this point, we do look like we'll be on the tail end of the storm, so I'm not expecting a whole lot of rain. Milam County, you may be able to get a quarter to a half of an inch. Austin area, maybe up to a quarter of an inch, but the farther south and the farther west you go, the less likely for heavy rain and the less likely for storms. And by the way, Wednesday's 50% rain chance and Wednesday night's 70% rain chance are the only rain chances in this seven-day forecast. Let's take a closer look at that midweek weather maker. Wednesday, when you wake up in the morning, it's going to be muggy and warm, the low 60 degrees, which is not too far off of an average high this time of year. Patchy areas of drizzle and light spotty showers will be possible through the day on Wednesday. Storms, however, will be a second round that comes through overnight Wednesday night into early Thursday. As you can see, this particular computer model showing those areas of yellow, meaning the more moderate to heavy storms in North Texas, while we are in the darker greens, which means less in the way of significant weather. But don't let your guard down. Sometimes we do see these systems that can bring hail, high winds, etc. So we'll keep an eye on it and keep that weather alert in place as well so that you'll stay aware and in the know. Then we see things clear out and cool down, and that is that. Temperature outlook as we round out the month of February. Boy, it's flying by. Looking warmer than average the 21st through 27th. All through central Texas, we should see above average temperatures, which is kind of good news given that this 
this week is the anniversary of last year's crazy weather and looks like not only this week but also next week we should avoid any significant freezes and or winter weather or even anything that, like what happened yesterday with the sleet and the grapple and all that even though it was so minor boy i'm sure some of you had flashbacks here's that seven day forecast and it is really looking great enjoy the sunshine for your valentine's day tuesday as well wednesday have the umbrella on standby during the day have that cbs austin storm tracker weather app for the night we'll keep you updated on social media as well as things progress with the storms then on thursday the cold front pushes through that'll bring cooler air for you. It'll also be rather brisk and breezy on Thursday. And one week from today is the Austin Marathon. If you're running, if you're spectating, weather's looking pretty good. 40 degrees right now is what I'm thinking at the start. Temperature probably up to around 60 by midday. And thankfully, all the runners will be all finished up by the time we hit that 68 degree high because that is a little too toasty. All right, that's your latest forecast update. We will have live newscasts on CBS Austin 530 as well is 10 p.m. Hope to see you then. And if you happen to be watching football, I hope your team wins. Take care.